How's it going everyone? I'm Butler and on today's Serving of Love I'll be reviewing another colossal side sword from Kalamazoo. The Executioner Sword, the Yacht. To kick us off, this sword costs just under 300 Australian dollars. It is not a cheap sword, and for good reason. This sword total length is 162 centimeters, 120 centimeters for the blade, and 42 centimeters for the hilt. It weighs about 1,200 grams, and is made of a fiberglass core in the center and calamisil foam. So try to morph it, twist it, punish it. It doesn't matter. This is the second colossal side sword I bought from Kalamazoo and it's by far my favorite. The blade is so wide it measures at eight centimeters and due to the wideness of the blade I can definitely see myself blocking throwable weapons just by holding the sword like this and deflecting and angling it. It also doesn't come with a thrust safe tip or a very protruding tip compared to other Kalamazoo weapons and for good reason, because this is designed to do one thing, and that is cleaving your opponents. Due to the wideness of the blade, there's also a lot of cushioning between your opponent and the fiberglass core in the center. But due to the sharpness of the blade, I, will still, I still recommend that you have good discipline and good control when wielding this sword. The hilt, the design of the hilt is amazing. It's clearly have Asgardian and Viking aesthetic to it. And there's also an engraved version, which has the same aesthetic along the entire blade, giving it a more unique look. But what really wins me over with this sword is the length of the hilt. Only having 10 more centimeters of the handle compared to the Aridon sword, you can find a review right here, you have more leverage to control this colossal blade, and, you, and which is a must for colossal sized swords, because you definitely want to have control and not hit your opponents as hard as you want to. The look of the sword is incredible. And just the shape of the blade and the aesthetic of the hilt, you can definitely see yourself role playing as a royal executioner or a warrior for gods and kings, or even just a raging barbarian berserker, which I'll definitely want to role play as next time we can play some LARP. And I'll definitely be having this beast of a sword to use in the combat. And that's it for today's review on the Executioner Sword the Yotten. If you like it, leave, hit, hit that like button. It tells me I'm doing a good job. Watch my other reviews and even other videos on LARP. Subscribe to my channel. And I have a Facebook page now, just to keep you guys updated on any future videos, even some stuff happening in the background. I'm Butler, farewell, and take care.